Hey, the Trigger, Rich Pound Trigger. Welcome back to another Leaders and Communicators. I'm here to help you defy the odds in life, leadership, and public speaking. So today, it's Valentine's Day. So I thought I would talk a little bit about life and communication. Specifically, romance, love. It's, it's a great thing to be in love, isn't it? All right. Recently, I just got engaged. Uh, I am looking forward to a wedding coming up later on this year. So this whole love and communication is a big, big thing in my own personal life. So I thought on this Valentine's Day, let's talk about uh, the love languages. Uh, there's a great book out there. I'll leave you a link down in the description down below. I'll also give you a free quiz that you can take to learn about your love languages and in relationships, there's big destroyers of relationship. Money, sex, communication. So I specialize in communication as one of my areas, and today I'm going to help you with communication. There are five love languages that we all use in different ways. Now, as men, studies show over and over again, we don't use our mouths very much. Women seem to have more of that ability to express themselves, to talk things through, in my world, I'm kind of the opposite, uh, professional speaker, so I'm able to talk and express myself pretty good. But that's not true for a lot of people. So part of this is helping us to understand it's not just words that communicate when you're in love, when you're in relationships. It's other things that help you to communicate your love, your passion, your desires, your connectivity, all the things that make a vibrant relationship. It's not just words. So when we talk about communication, there's so much more than just what you say. It's what you do and why you do it. So five love languages. The first one I want to point out is words of affirmation. Now, words of affirmation. And again, we're talking about love languages. What helps you the most? We're thinking about what comes toward you, what helps you to feel the love and feel the attraction. There's another whole talk and presentation about what you give out to people. I'm going to touch on that a little bit. But... Words of affirmation. People need to be built up. So often we get torn down, we get beat up a little bit emotionally, but words of affirmation fill our soul. Think of it like a cup. You have a cup and you want to make as many deposits in that cup as you can to fill the cup to overflowing so they know they are loved and valued. Words of affirmation. You're good, you're great, you're beautiful, you're talented, you're gifted. Do you know you have amazing ideas? Words of affirmation are an amazing thing. Now, that one is a word communication thing. So you may have someone that pours into you, and you know your cup gets full that way. Here's the trick. If they don't know that that works for you, you need to actually let them know. Sometimes gifts and other things don't really fill you as much. But you do need to communicate what does work for you. So words of affirmation. If you are one of those that enjoy that affirmation, it's like a big bear hug when someone gives you an attaboy. Let the person in your life know that. The second one is physical touch. Physical touch, of course, is pretty obvious. However, it's not just sexual physical touch we're talking about. Physical touch is those hand-holding putting your arm around someone, just a simple embrace or a tender kiss on the side. Sometimes it's even as simple just coming by and giving a little back rub massage real quickly and just acknowledging them there. Physical touch can be as simple as when you're in a big conference or in a big meeting with a lot of people, the person you love simply comes on up and gently brushes your side, puts a hand on the shoulder to affirm, I'm with you. There's many people around us but I am with you and don't forget it. Words of affirmation and physical touch, one and two. Now, receiving gifts. There are those that love receiving gifts. Now, there are those that love giving gifts. That's a whole different love language of giving gifts, but the receiving gifts, there are those that love receiving gifts. And I'm not talking about just the rings, the jewelries, the cars. All those things. I'm talking about giving gifts. My fiance and I have had a lot of fun where we will share notes surprisingly to each other. It's a combination of words of affirmation and gifts. You never know where these little notes are going to pop up. They have been on my laptop. Uh, they, they have been in my car. 
Uh, I have left them in lunch boxes, in purses, in pockets. Um, they've been sprinkled all over the place where you really don't expect them. And sometimes you get one or two of them in the same day. You thought, wow, I found it. I got it. And then later on, you find another one. And it's the receiving of gifts. That gift, that time they took to do that is amazing. Maybe it is going out to dinner. Maybe it's a concert. Maybe it's a day of you don't cook, you don't clean. I'm going to take care of you. It's receiving of gifts. And some people just get so filled up on that. The fourth one is quality time. Quality time is a wonderful thing. Quality time, we need this so badly in our world today because we are slammed with our calendars. We are saying, go, 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 especially if you have children in your lives. We are just always going. But you need to protect your relationship and you need to be able to say, this is our time, my time. There are some of us that thrive on quality time. So let's just go get away, even if it's just for an evening, a getaway weekend. Maybe it's a football game or basketball game, or maybe it's going to the theater. Or maybe it's a walk around the neighborhood, and you simply talk and share and go find a shade tree, and you plop down and you do nothing. Recently, we just had a whole Sunday of doing a puzzle together. Yeah, we did a puzzle, and it was great just to do nothing but play have snacks, and do a puzzle, and have music in the background. It was perfect. The easiest date in the world, by the way. <laughs> now, finally, there are those that like acts of service. There are those of us that love when someone does something for us. They go wash your car for you, and you come home, wow, how'd that happen? They, they, they do the laundry for you. They, they, they mow the lawn for you. Um, they, they do those mundane things, or sometimes it's those big things. But those acts of service show you in action what your words have been trying to say to this person. And for some people, words are one thing, actions are another thing. And when you express it in actions, it takes it to a whole new level of love. And the thing is, you want to communicate your love. And that's why you have to know these five love languages, because you need to know what the person you love, your partner, your spouse, your fiance, you need to know what their love languages are so you can best communicate your love to them. Let me say that again. You need to know their love language so you can best communicate your love to them. This is about communication. My top three are physical touch, quality time. I love that puzzle time. It was great. And then... Um, the other one is I like just the acts of service. It's fun to have someone do something for you nice and simple. So, what are your love languages? Do you know your love languages? And if you don't know your love languages, go down to the description down below. I'm going to leave you a link in there. I'm going to give a link to the book. And it's going to be through an Amazon link just because everyone shops Amazon these days. And I'm going to give you a link to where you can take the test. And then the key is take the test, share it with the one you love, and ask them to take the test so they can give their results to you. And that in itself is an act of love. This is Valentine's Day. We're all looking on ways to show appreciation and love. Let's not just do a Hallmark card. Let's not just do some flowers. Let's actually communicate at a higher level for long-term lasting relationships. Got any questions, comments, anything? Give it to me down below. Give me a like, give me a share, and I look forward to our next visit together. Until then, I'm the Trigger. God bless. Have a great day.